people, we're back. Um, and it is time for a load of bunk. Here it is. What a load of bunk. It is the Peak Kahoot by Captain Blitz. Let's get the code up. Who's this guy? Oh yeah, I got a, got a beat of a shave, so I have a, a lighter beard now. I'm sorry if that uh, throws anyone off. It's lighter than I anticipated it to be, so uh, that happened. What's our song here? Okay, I was going to say, if it's not Rowdy Rumble, I'm going to be kind of pissed. Um, look at that. Custom background, custom song for the Pete Kahoot. I have changed, yeah. Sally! <laughs> I, uh, I went to my, my barber uh, for a bit of an HC, and I was like, you know what? If you could just like get the beard a little bit, too. like I feel like it's a little too too much in some places. And uh, <laughs> he, uh, he took it down a bit. Um, so that's all right, though. I like how I look with the with the short beard too, so it's okay. Um, but yeah, Pete Kahoot, um, Rowdy Rumble is a blare in a way. Pete of Dog <laughs> Egg is very excited for the Pete trivia. David Bunk Break is here. Um, what else is going on? Uh, the World Watch Part Three looks like it's going to be out on Saturday. Um, tier two and three patrons should be able to see it like Tuesday afternoon tuesday evening um i might be able to finish it like way late early in the morning today so way late into tonight early tomorrow morning um and that would mean i'm looking at like a kind of midday evening release uh for everybody on saturday and i won't be streaming on saturday so there'll be that instead it'll be 52 minutes um i have about nine eight minutes left to edit um so i'll be doing that right after i'm done here and uh, then I'm taking the weekend off, and there's nothing. So, excited for that. Hello, call me Cyrus. In fact, I will. Why not? Cyrus. Um, beep, 325. Hello to you, and thanks for the follow. You know, I haven't done a roll call in a bit. Uh, Daisy, Yaminu Ryu, and Egg were here very early. Tristan, RMS Failure, Manly Mr. Man, Cools Guy, who sent me a Hollow Bastion Kahoot that we'll be doing in October. Um, and call me Cyrus, thank you for the follow as well. Um, Godbach is here, uh, Nachos, greatest moment of my life, is here, let's see, uh, Uma Sorbit's here, Mythical Blood Moon is here, David Daybreak, RMS Failure, I have not, well, I've gotten sick of Recoded, but then I've gotten unsick, you know, I'm, uh, I'm tolerating it, um, we got, uh, god, I forgot, Rowdy Rumble in Cage 3 is... Intense. Oracle for the 19 months. Thank you so much for the resub there, Oracle, and good luck with the uh, the new job search. Um, OJ is here. Um, bow, 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 bow. Ribbonfly is here. Pete over Pat. Superior number of letters. Can't fight that logic. Drink the Jungle Wine. Last Order 13. Gorilla 54. The Great Frutoon saying howdy from Fruland. <laughs> Their uh, new amusement park. We have, uh, let's see... Boom, 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 boom. Owls is here. Hello, Timberlord. Um, the new license, G2 driver's license. No more having to drive with someone in the car. That's exciting. Congrats. CB Trippin. Um, Shiver Burn is here. I have shaved. Um, Scylla Blossom Gaia. Carly's here. Bow, bow. Captain Blitz, the creator of today's Kahoot. And Emily on the way to rehearsal. Bow, 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 bow. Kookaburra, who made me some art today. I'm not sure if it showed up. I did get it into the slideshow, but it's my coded avatar um, with a, with an added detail. So, uh, thank you for that. Um, I'm sorry, did I get that right? Is it the same person? Because it's Kook Cuckoo Banana on Twitter, so I'm actually not sure if you're the same, but it's very similar. So, um, um, mischief, mischief mind, mischief min dead. Hello, mischief mind, e a d, <laughs> mischief minded. Um, hopefully I got that right. Not the same. I apologize then. That's a cuckoo banana who did make it. Uh, it, it they're close names. Similar names. <laughs> a meteoric man. Uh, what's going on? Alright. Uh, one-winged honeybee is here as well. I think I got everybody. And Oreo Songbird. I just feel like I haven't, I haven't done a roll call in a bit, so. Mischief Mind Dead. I get it. I get it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um... We'll give it, uh, we'll give it, like, three more minutes. I had a little bit of a later start. And then we'll get into the Kahoot. We'll be doing the Hurdle after this as well. Um, see what that's all about today. Roll Call, Donald, Goofy, 
It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, baby. Buffoon's here. What's up, Buffoon? Barnabas is here. <laughs> With the Lilac's Despair. Um, oh, yeah. Monty's here. Did, wait, did I... Did you say anything, Monty? I would have said it if I saw it. Bom, 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 bom. Um, late start with just a spam bunk. You're probably right. What a load of what a load um, of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse was after my time, but I did also uh, initialize it wrong. Um, it was something my cousin was really into. My cousin is uh, 13, 14 now, so I think that was more so for his era. Um, hmm, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, Dreamlight Valley. Uh, it's thirty dollars right now. I hear it'll be free at some point, right? Um, not gonna catch me buying it. Um, I loved House of Mouse. Yeah, that was my shit. Um, I'm gonna get into the Kahoot myself here. Let's see, Rom to Bomb dot Well, uh, seven three four. By the way, if you're new, you go to kahoot.it, punch this code in, and you can play along at home. I believe we have 21 questions about Pete. Um, and guess what, Lunkheads? Pat's invincible. Invincible, Pat. That's right, Lunkheads. Pete's invincible. Very exciting stuff. Will it not be free? I thought I heard, like, definitively it will be. Um... But maybe that's also a load of bunk. Um, I'm not Pete Pat. Look, I, I got something nice. Something at least a little interesting. Bom, 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 bom. I'm fucking invincible. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Did you already have it in? I apologize. Oh, Dot. Yeah, Dot has it. Ah, dang. I'm sorry. I thought I came up with something. I mean, everyone's going to go for the bunk thing, right? So it's like... I can't go for that. I gotta do something else. Um, yes, yes, the House of Mouse game on the on the Disney website. It was so good. It was like five phases, and you like you had to like decorate the club, and then you had to um, you had to like play as Max and do like the valet parking, and then you had to uh, do it was like a memory cooking game with Goofy, and then um, 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 there was like the final stage was like making sure everything ran smoothly during the night with like. Uh, Waiting on tables and like playing the the uh, films and stuff. PJ's here. PJ. I wonder if that is uh, if that exists anywhere. The uh, PJ. the House of Mouse game. Because uh, I'm guessing it was a Flash game. So. Oh God! What a, what a deep pool. <laughs> uh, what, what stream was that? I, I know it was in Atlantica. Was it the Fee Percent? It's in one of the highlight reels on the main channel. Um. <laughs> the story was uh, there was a girl in my freshman year of high school like all of us were sitting around the, the lunch table just like bullshitting and uh, I don't know how the topic came up but she ended up saying that she thought the G spot was the name of a nightclub uh, which was uh, well, the hardest I had probably ever laughed uh, in my life up to that point um, yeah Vodka's got everything memorized it might it probably is to be honest uh, but she didn't realize it had any other implication which was the uh which was the takeaway. Um, she was sheltered. What's going on, Beep? Um, can, uh, I was going to say congratulations. Like, congratulations for finding me. Um, but no, like, uh, thank you for, for uh, joining us here. I, um, I hope you've enjoyed the YouTube content. And uh, we're here uh, three days a week on Twitch. Um, we're playing Recoded, so... After this, of course. The G-Spot is a gummy ship piece? Oh, of course. Of course. Uh, how did I know? How did I not know? Um... All right, let's get into the uh, Pete Kahoot. Um, we'll see what happens here. This is by Blitz. Let me double check on the settings. I was told randomize answers, not questions. All right, here we go. All about Pete. Is this a special Ukraine uh, background? Is that what this is? All right. True or false? Um, like Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, Pete's modern non-KH design appears at least once in KH. Um, we'll see. What's up, Trapper John? What's up, Lucario? Bow, bow. Heron Yeah, by modern. 
I was gonna say like I don't even know what Pete's non cage modern design is, but if we're talking like wearing like their traditional clothing, then no. Because I don't think his like modern design outside of cage has like a bunch of zippers or is dressed like the musketeer or is old timey Captain Pete. So uh yeah. Like, is that what modern Pete looks like? The blue overalls? I don't know. Doesn't really have one, that's fair. Okay. I'm in fourth. We got Fruitronic. Oh, nice. That's a uh, Epic Mickey uh, Petronic. Um, overalls nerd, buffoon, me, and Meteoric Man. Number two. Um, how many different Pete designs have appeared in Kingdom Hearts? Okay. Mm. Uh. Four, five, six, seven. I just named some of them. Um, six? <laughs> All right, what did I miss? So we know the one that we just saw, Pete, I said four, uh, because I couldn't, couldn't think of any more. Uh, Pete, Captain Pete, Musketeer Pete, Lion Pete, and there's two more? What are the other two? Uh, oh, Captain Dark and Captain Justice. Yeah, I forgot about fucking Birth by Sleep. <laughs> Julius? <laughs> I don't think Julius counts. Uh, they're, they're different guys. They're just... Uh, that's actually a racist keynote. Um, damn, I can't believe I forgot the fucking captains. Alright. <clears throat> Lion Pete, the best part of Pride Lands. That dropped me to 10th. Uh, we have Buffoon, Just James, Meteoric Man, Captain Daisy, and Silver Inferno. Number 3. Um, which theme plays for the first chronological Pete fight in Days? Uh, Rowdy Rumble, Shorting doubt, Dark Cloud, <laughs> Tension Rising, or Squirming Evil. Um, it's Green Requiem. Ah! I thought, I honest to God thought it was a fucking trip up, and I went for Tension Rising. I thought they completely fucked it. Because I know Pete's the Rowdy Rumble guy. Like, Rowdy Rumble always plays for Pete, but I was like, this seems too easy. It seems way too easy. Um, and I, uh, <laughs> I said Tension Rising. Because cause they, they fuck it up sometimes. Like, I remember in days, I was like, why are they playing the song right now? So I thought it was something stupid. Um, that was so bad. That was like a gimme that I just biffed because I thought it was too big brain. I've been playing Blitz Cahoots for like a month now. So I figured this is not, it's not going to be that easy. But it was. Um, I did shave, yeah. <laughs> Buffoon, Just James, Meteoric Man, Silver Inferno, and Captain Daisy. Number four. Um, what is the name of Retro Pete's Reaction Command? Steam Blast, he doesn't have one, Pinball, or About Face. Ugh. I think I, like, tanked my chances of being on the leaderboard, missing that one. That was huge. Bum, bum, bum. I'm on a big Kahoot dry streak. I, I cracked fifth on the last one. I don't think I've been... I don't think I've won one since, like, July. Uh, yeah, About Face, that's, like, when you turn them around and send them against Modern Pete. Uh, Pinball is a uh, Modern Pete one. You can use that in the um, Underworld. Um, all right, I put me in 18th. We got Buffoon, Tester Zero, Silver Inferno, Hen Bunkwen, and Pete of Dog. Number five. Um, which of these are listed as a first appearance for Pete in the Dream Drop Journal? Mickey's Review, Two Weeks Vacation, Steamboat Willie, or Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, The Three Musketeers? Uh... Oh, did I fuck this? I think I fucked this. Yeah, so it's probably... Ugh, fuck me. It's probably the model for Dream Drop Pete that, that that is on. Because Pete appears in both form. He appears in his regular modern form and in Musketeer form. But I'm guessing there's like a section for Pete under the Musketeers that lists his first appearance in that form as that movie. But then his appearance as modern Pete is not Steamboat Willie. Does he appear in something before that? Oh, Steam, but Willie has the wrong ear. Oh, I should have known. I thought it was. I thought you fucked it up. <laughs> to be honest, I was like, "Well, that's not the right ear." But I'll click it because I think that's the first time Pete appeared. Um, well, it's hard to know if it's either a, a willful deception or a fuck up on on part of because people make mistakes on the cahoots. So I was like, you know, that's not new. Um, but I guess Alice, the Alice one. I think that yeah, Pete was in the Alice one, so. But I don't think uh, I don't think Disney even acknowledges that as P, do they really? Um, yeah, I was gonna say like the series doesn't seem to acknowledge that the P's in it before that. All right, I'm a twentieth. 
Only five people got that one. Uh, Silver Inferno and Sick Bugs rise up. Number six. Um, during how many games is Pete physically seen in Disney Castle? Zero, one, two, three. <clears throat> I think I got it. Fuck. No, I don't. Fuck. I was just talking about it, too. It's two. It's recoded and it's Dream Drop. Um, and recoded, we just saw it because he uh, he goes into the, the library. You can see him sneaking through. And then uh, in Dream Drop, he's uh, him and Maleficent are kidnapping Minnie. Um, he's not in it in BBS because he's only in Disney Town. Oh, I can't believe I forgot it. Oh, it's so stupid. I'm in 23rd. Can't believe I'm not going to place in the Pete leaderboard. Silver Inferno, Buffoon, Hen Bunk Wen, Tester Zero, and Ghosty Monty. Number seven. How do you unlock the Pete D Link in BBS Final Mix? Have Pete appear in a non Mirage Arena game of Command Board, fill the character section of the journal, clear every ice cream B track with a rating of Fantastic, or beat him in Fruit Ball? I don't know. I don't know. I guess. Mmm. Yeah, no clue. Fuck. I was between red and green, and I said green. I mean, I guess, did I not have Pete appear in a non Mirage in a game of Command Board? Did I unlock his D-Link when I played it on stream? I don't remember. I don't remember ever using it, but... Uh, 28th. We got uh, Just James rising up, and it appears that Susie Star Wars is sick, uh, judging by the name, so I hope you get better, Susie. Number 8. Um, how many worlds does Pete appear in during days? Uh, one, two, three, four. <sighs> okay, I got it. Uh, it's, so it's going to be Agrabah and it's going to be Neverland. Um, and that was the screenshot from, from Coded here, which we just saw not too long ago. Um, that puts me in at 24th. We got Silver, Tester Zero, Just James, Buffoon, and Henbunk Wen. Number 9. Um, what command is locked inside the Pete Pinball Machine in Disney Town? I believe. Trinity Limit, Break Time, Victory Pose, or a Group Kiraga. Ven has had enough of this bullshit. I do know this one. I knew that one without the options. <clears throat> is in the uh, Pete's rec room. And it is break time. It's the one that lets TVA do their stupid little poses. Um, and I think you get health back if you do the timing right. Um, there you go. I'm in 21st. Oh no, behind Pete of Dog. I the mighty have fallen. Um, Buffoon, Henbunk Wen, and Fruitronic rise up. And number 10. How many boxes does Pete find in Cage 3 Zero, one, two, or what even is a box? All right, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a little mad uh, if I'm wrong, cause I think I got it. But Boom. no way, does he not see the box in the fucking epilogue? Does he not see this box? He sees it. I said two. I said yeah, obviously Pandora's box in Olympus, and then he sees the box in the ending. Well, what what does what does finding mean? Because what do you mean he doesn't find it? He t he finds it. If I'm looking for a giraffe and I go to the zoo and I see a giraffe, looks like I found me a giraffe. But discover you have to dig it up. That's bullshit. That's bullshit, and you know it. Whatever. Just like how Christopher Robin found the Americas, right? No, he didn't. Someone else was there and he saw it. Everyone says he found it. Even though it's wrong, right? Ticky tack, ticky tack alert. I'm mad. Patty's getting upset. Everyone who disagrees with me can fuck off. Um, did I say Christopher Robin? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've been working on this fucking. <laughs> I've been working on the Chief Cool video, okay? <laughs> look, look, look. It's. <laughs> I don't have my premiere open anymore. I was just editing the Christopher Robin part. It's Christopher Columbus, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> Discover. 
I'm so mad. My brain's fried. Christopher fucking Robin <laughs> discovered the 100 Acre Wood and the New new World. Silver Inferno, Buffoon, Henbunk, <laughs> Protronic, and just James. Christopher fucking Robin! <laughs> so stupid. I swear to God. I swear to God I'm not an idiot, okay? I've, I've been knee-deep in Disney live-action movies for the past two weeks. And Christopher Robin is one of the ones I've, I'm covering, okay? I know he did not, he's not a real man. <laughs> Number 11. Um, what is Pete's first appearance in the Union Cross story? I don't fucking know. Um, during the search for Cloud, during the Gummy Block quest, the search for Abu, or he doesn't appear in Union Cross. <laughs> so stupid. I was going to say, I don't remember actually ever seeing his model in Union Cross, so I, I guess he's not in it. That's like a little avatar thing, obviously, and it's terrifying. The peach chin and the, uh, actually, that's what I have on the recoded overlay. Um, okay. Um, we got Fruitronic rising up. That puts me in a 25th. Number 12. Um, which of these commands is never in, in Pete D-Link? Um... Confetti, Victory Pose, Slot Edge, or Fruit Shot. Um, what's going on, D Lightning? Um, welcome. Are you <laughs> just joined for me being a stupid idiot? <laughs> but I hope you're. I hope you're enjoying your time. I don't know if you missed it. <laughs> ah, shit! I thought it was confetti. Um, damn. Well, it's Slot Edge. I'm in 26th again. The truth of Kristen. No. <laughs> Fruitronic rises up. I'm so embarrassed. Uh, Number 13, uh, which of these characters can never directly fight Pete? Uh, uh, Riku, Shion, Pete, Hercules? I had to think about this for a long time. Yeah, it's Riku, and that's obvious. But my brain was like, what about day's mission mode? Like, can you fight Pete as Riku in mission mode? Is that a thing that you can do? Because in that case, you can fight all of you can fight Pete as all of these characters. Or rather, you can see them fight Pete. Because Hercules in Cage 2, um, Pete in Cage 2 with Timeless River, and then Shion in Days. And then I was like, I know Riku doesn't fight Pete in Dream Drop, but he might be able to fight him in mission mode. But it's non-canonical. <clears throat> well, what can you do? Out of all these options, that is the most true. Um, and Bunk when rises up. I'm in 25th. Number 14. Which of these is a Pete battle quote? Um, get out of my way. I'd rather run. See ya or gotcha. Um, pretty sure I got this. Julius is not Pete. They're not. They're different characters. They have different names. They have different origins. <clears throat> yeah. Get out of my way! Um, I think he says that um, in every fight but the uh, the Steamboat one. So uh, We got Henbunk Wen rising up and Just James. And I'm in 22nd. Number 15. Um, during Who's Disney Town Visit is Pete canonically banished? Uh, Terra Aqua Ven or Vanitas? I love playing Ice Cream Beat Brother! Ew, get those brooms away from me. Oh, what, what was not a battle quote? Yeah, Aqua, I believe Aqua is the Pete Banishment and the uh, Million Dreams Award. That's like the canonical time where that's awarded. There you go. Everyone gets that. I'm in 18th. Number 16. Um, what does French Pete say when French Mickey tries to arrest him? Um, don't you lose any sleep over it? By the power invested in my fist, I clobber you. Why you? How do you thwart me in the nick of time? Or it's time to say Bond Journey. I think I got this. Venti Wenti wants to make ice cream. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. <laughs> Filled with so many negative emotions. Um, yeah, by the power invested in my fist, I clobber you, which is actually a great line. Uh, I love that. Um, we got 
Fruitronic rising up. I am in 17th. Number 17. Um, what track plays after Pete traps Donnie, Goofy, and Bug Blocks in the 2.5 recoded movie? Courage, Link to All, Rowdy Rumble, or Desire for All that is Lost? Ah, uh, I think I fucked this. Um, I think I know what Blitz did to stumble me here. Oh, never mind. Um, so there's three scenes called My Friends Are My Power. Or wait, there's at least two. There's a, the one in KH1, obviously, the first and the famous one. And then the one in Dream Drop is called My Friends Are My Power. And then the one in Coded, where they're in the, the block sandwich here, I think also might be called My Friends Are My Power. Oh, it's Courage in the DS game. Okay, that's where I... Because I, I was like, oh, maybe it's that. Um, Link to all plays during the Dream Drop scene, where they also say My Friends Are My Power. I'm not sure if the scene is actually titled this in the movie, but they say it there, too. Um, so a lot of that going around. Also, it's Yuno's birthday. Happy birthday, Yuno. Um, I just saw, I just woke up and I saw um, in uh, Discord, uh, Buffoon in second. Uh, number 18, whose first 2FM appearance is after Pete, according to the Wayfinder Project? Mm, oh, you know? Um, Leon, Maleficent, Riku as himself, or Mushu? This, I think, is kind of tricky. Um... Hopefully I got it. Yeah. So there's going to be all those dream flashbacks um, as Roxas. And I know that all three of those characters besides Maleficent appear. Um, although I guess... Whose first appearance is after... Yeah, so if Pete shows up at the Mysterious Tower, that'd be his first appearance in that game. And then Maleficent's not going to show up. Maleficent's not in any of the dreams, I don't think. And then she's going to show up um, when the fairies remember her, I think. Um, but every, everyone else appears before Pete because of the dream, I think. Um, you, yeah, you hear Mushu. Because he goes, I am Mushu! Um, and uh, that's like part of the dream. <clears throat> um, Alright. No, it's saying whose first appearance in 2FM is after Pete. So Pete appears um, before Maleficent in 2FM. Um, yeah, they all, all are in flashbacks, yeah. But, you know, it's tricky. Um, because I don't think Maleficent is in the flashbacks. Um, I don't remember her being any. It's possible she is, though. You'll have to ask Blitz. Um, Henbunk went in second, and Just James in fourth. Um, that's true, her VA is the computer in Twilight Town. Um, number 19. Um, who is Pete's cage voice actor? Know that. Corey Byrne, Jim Cummings, uh, Jim Carrey, or a Bill Farmer. That's wild. <laughs> Bow. <clears throat> I mean, I, I might have fucked up on the Wayfinder project if Blitz used it, but I would assume that like, I got it. I was pretty thorough. Um, yeah, it is Jim Cummings. Jim Cummings is also uh, Pooh and uh, Tigger um, and some other characters that I can't remember. Um, but yeah, and Pete. There we go. Alright, and I'm in at 7th. Oh man, I was so close. Um, if anyone else can biff this, I can make it on leaderboard. Number 20. Um, what is the finish command of the max level Pete D-Link? Never mind. Um, <laughs> um, you summon a barrage of dark orbs to deal damage. Pete himself appears to morb all over those guys. You summon Pete's car and drive over or drift over enemies to deal damage, or you summon a massive amount of fireworks to deal damage. Um, I think I got this one. I'm pretty sure it's the Morbin Time one. I'm guessing 21 is a bonus question because typically, if it's not a round number, it's a bonus. Um, yeah, the, the car shows up. Oh, that puts me in sixth. Fuck! I almost had a, a rise up to, to the top again after my Christopher Robin of it all. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure this next question is just a bonus, so. Um, 21. Um, who is better at computer than Pete? Uh, <laughs> no one, sort of Roxas or Maleficent. Yeah, I'm pretty sure nobody can out-computer Pete himself. Um, I mean, and recoded, he's, uh, he's a genius. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Wait, there were points for this? Well, I'm still in sixth, unfortunately. It wasn't enough to, uh, to, uh, 
get in front of fifth or Fruitune here. Um, in third place, it is Fruitronic. Oh, never mind. I thought Fruitronic was in uh, fifth. Just James in second. And in first place, our Pete Champion, 19 out of 21. It is Silver Inferno. Congrats. Uh, fourth for Henwen and fifth for Buffoon. Look at that. Um, thank you, Blitz, for making this for us. Even despite Christopher Robin Gate. Uh, I appreciate the effort that went into this. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say 39%. 45, all right. Um, yeah, this was the toughest one with the journal one. Um, the Pete models, yeah, I got those wrong, got that wrong. I did get this one. All right, well, thank you, Blitz, again. Um, let's see what's on our schedule before we switch over and do the hurdle real quick. Um, Heat trivia. I'm gonna move that to previously played. Next is so no stream on Saturday, but on Tuesday at six we have another Fruitune quiz, and this one is called "Which KH Thing Doesn't Belong?" I would assume um, four answers, and one is not like the others. So that'll be interesting. And then a week from today, another Blitz Kahoot, and it'll be KH stuff in non-KH media. Interested to see what that's all about. And we're scheduled all the way up till October 19th with uh, Cools Guys um, Hollow Bastion trivia. Um, so we're pretty booked so far. Um, all right, let's do the uh, the hurdle before we switch over to Coded. Uh, Jiminy Kahoot, oh my God, <laughs> look at that. All right, let's see here. I'm not gonna look at the chat. You can play along, but I'm not gonna look. <clears throat> oh, well, that's working together. Um, easy peasy. Uh, can't miss that. That's uh, iconic. I love working together. I think it's a top five track for me. Um, all right. I just don't want to shut it off. It's so good. This fucking drop here. Boom! Oh, it's so good. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, switch over to Cody. Goodbye, bot people.